Hello, my name is Emily Crow from Crochet Creations. Welcome. Today I am taking you along on a packing trip vlog where I'll show you all the projects I work on, any yarn that I acquire if I go to a local yarn store, and just everything related to traveling with yarn. We are traveling to Utah tomorrow. My Grandpa passed away earlier this year and they're having his memorial in just a few days. So my whole little family is flying over there. I have to figure out what to bring. I take my knitting and crochet everywhere with me. I can't leave home without it. But also on another level, there's things that I want to accomplish and get done. And so I gotta figure out kind of what projects to bring. My last vlog, that was similar to this. We went on a trip to Arizona for my husband's work and we didn't have any family or any other agenda, I guess. And so I got lots of time to knit and crochet. This time we'll be visiting my family, spending time with the memorial and things like that, but also spending time with my husband's family because they are also living in Utah and we'll be doing a lot of visiting with loved ones. And so I don't think I'll have as much time as our last trip and our trip is just a little bit shorter. I gotta figure out what I wanna bring. And I thought it would be fun to show you kind of my thought process in what I want to pack. Okay, so excuse the chaos and the mess. I've got clothes set out as I'm trying to pack for our trip <laughs> in, in the non-yarn category as well. But I've got all my whips set out that I'm currently working on. I don't think I wanna cast anything new on, but I gotta figure out which projects are most worthwhile for me to bring. All right, so something that I remember from my last vlog, from our last trip, I think I did a pretty good job at bringing a variety of projects and having things to work on and getting a lot of work done and making progress on my projects. So I think I did a good job there. One thing that I remember I wanted to work on is make sure I had more fun projects with me. So on some days when I don't work on designs, I'd still have something to work on because I end up getting a lot of stitching time on Sundays. So that's one thing I wanna make sure I think about as I'm planning. I do have a couple deadline things that I need to think about in terms of this trip. These colors have been revealed at the time you are seeing this video, I think. I'm going to show you I am working on a design using Dying Wishes Yarn Co. yarn. I am collaborating with Sarah. And so I have a design going. It's a shawl. It's a fingering weight crochet shawl that's worked with short rows starting at the top. It's got quite a wide wingspan. Gradual decreasing on one side, but then the short rows on the other side kind of make it into like a little bit of a wedge shape. So kind of some interesting shaping. I really would love to finish this while we are on our trip so that as soon as I come back and get settled, we can go to the beach, take some finished object photos, and be ready to do a tester call right around the time that Sarah is announcing these colorways. If that test call is open when I am posting this vlog, then I'll definitely keep the links down below. And anything that I talk about, I'll try to put the links in the description. If there's something that you wanna know more about, feel free to ask me down in the comments, and I can try to update the description and let you know anything that you wanna know. But anyway, so I'm working on this. I have two sections done out of five is my goal. So it's not gonna be a ginormous shawl. It's pretty wide, but it's not super deep necessarily. So it'll be good for like a lightweight shawl. It'll be good for like a scarf. So perfect for the fingering weight. Um, hi Alfred. Perfect for fingering weight wearing this time of year even. This has to come with me and I'm bringing everything. Some of my projects, last trip, I brought all the skeins even though I didn't end up needing all the skeins while I was on my trip. So I'm gonna be mindful of that too, but I need all the skeins for this design project. So I'm gonna set this one aside. Okay, another project I know for sure I want to bring is this vanilla sock I'm working on. This is for my brother. It's made out of stroll yarn from Knit Picks or We Crochet. I am working on a video where I try out all the different stroll categories of yarn. So stroll regular, stroll tonal, stroll gradient, stroll hand paints, stroll tweed. I'm trying them all and I'm gonna make socks for all my family members and these will be Christmas gifts. This is the very first sock and this is a great project for traveling. I love working on socks when I travel and especially now in the summertime. It's just a nice, easy, small project. It's a vanilla sock, which makes it even better. And so this is definitely coming with me. This will probably go in my carry-on because while I won't get very much time to knit or crochet while we are actually traveling, 
there'll be some moments when I'm sitting down waiting for our flight or when I'm on the plane and my daughter Georgia is thoroughly entertained by her iPad because <laughs> sometimes that's what you got to do, then I will get a little bit of time to work on this. And so this is the perfect portable project for that. So this is definitely going with us on our trip. Here you can kind of see all the rest of my whips and whip bags. This is not a whip. This is the Wrapped Up in You Shawl by Nissa Not So Winnipeg. I just recently tested that for her for her re-release of that pattern. And so I was planning on packing that with me to wear. Hi. Hi, Alfred. Can, can you move? Can, can you move, please? So these are the rest of my projects that I have. And like I said, I don't think I will have as much time as I did on our last trip in order to work on projects. So I need to keep that in mind. This one is tricky. So this is the Reverie Sock from Pom Pom Magazine issue 40. It is what I'm making for the Summer Dreams Cal that Jessica of JS Threads and I are hosting. That'll be just about finishing by the time that this video goes up. But I am making this sock. And this is the second sock. And I am right now on the stockinette portion of the foot, so we are coming down to not very much left of the sock. Now, is it worth bringing a pair of socks that is three quarters of the way done to work on on this trip? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it is. I'm not quite sure about that. Also, I'm not quite sure about is I have a cuff started for a sock design I want to do. The Red Yucca socks that'll use some texture and some lace stitching in order to simulate the Red Yucca plant that I fell in love with when I was visiting Arizona. Now I've got this Japanese lace stitches book to help me with inspiration and working through the engineering of lace stitches for this design. Since I'm still a fairly new knitter, I have a vision in mind and I just gotta figure out how I wanna do it. I would love to bring this with me so I could work on it. However, that other design I have is way more important and is a much tighter deadline because I actually have a deadline. It's not just self-imposed. <laughs> so I don't know if it's worth bringing another design to work on when I need to prioritize that design. I'm not sure because maybe if I do finish that design while we are on our trip, then I can work on some fun projects as a reward. So I'm not sure. But also I've been waiting on these socks for a long time. I just haven't been able to fit them in because of other commitments that I've had. So I really want to get these started. So I don't know, but then I'll have to bring the lace book to play around with some lace patterns. I don't know. So many things to consider. And you can see I've got three big projects here. This is my Find Your Fade Shawl that is a very long-term project. I think I casted it on in February and it is slow goings. I'm almost positive I don't want to bring that because it's just so far from being finished and it's not bringing me a ton of satisfaction enjoy to work on it. It's just kind of something I'll work on a little bit here and there. It'll get done eventually, but I'm not necessarily wanting to push through and work on that a lot over the next couple weeks even. So I don't think that belongs on our trip. This one is my no frill sweater that I have also not worked on in a few weeks. I finished the short rows and so I'm ready to start the raglan increasing just going round and round and stocking it. And there's a lot of raglan increases. And I just need to be able to sit down and like count what I'm working on, mark my increases until I'm really comfortable reading my knitting with the make one right, make one left increases. It would be great to be able to work on that and get some good progress in. Mm, I don't know if I'll want to bring it with me. I think what I'm leaning towards as my big project is this. So this is the Peekaboo Maxi Skirt. As you can see, I have the waistband completed for this skirt, it's got an encased elastic, so that's already in place and I've done just a couple rows now and basically I have to just knit straight for like 20 inches or something crazy. <laughs> Probably it'll depend on how it falls on me and so it could be a little bit different, but that's just a lot of straight knitting, super simple. I'm using this beautiful hand dyed yarn by Winnie Jo Fiber Co in the color English Garden. I don't, I can't quite see. I think it's blowing out just a little bit, but I'm really excited about this project. This will bring me a lot of joy. It's really fun to work up. It's so squishy, it's so good, and it's just really simple. And so this has been nice to just have when I'm doing other things. So I think this will be a really great project to have as we're just sitting with family, talking, chatting, just something to be working on so that I don't get bored just sitting there. Because at this point, 
I need something with me in my hands in order to not get bored because I'm so used to multitasking and having my knitting and crochet with me at all times. So I'm thinking about this. I really do think I'm going to bring this. The question is, it's a four skein project. And I've got these two skeins that are currently attached and then I'm uh, alternating between. I've got two skeins I haven't used yet. Now you can see there's a difference in sizing, but I've still got quite a bit of yarn left of this. Do I think I will get through these skeins and need these skeins? I kind of think I will because we are gonna be doing a lot of driving, actually flying to Salt Lake City, drive down to Utah County where we're staying with my husband's family. Then we're driving all the way out to Vernal, middle of nowhere, which is like three, three and a half hours away. So I'll get lots of knitting time then. Driving back three, three and a half hours, back to Utah County, spending some time with his family. Then we're going to be driving all the way up to Logan, which is an hour and a half maybe. And then we're going to go from Logan back down to Salt Lake City for the airport, something like that. So we're going to kind of like go, we're going to do a few bigger drives. And so this would be a really great project for that. I think it's really helpful to think of where and when and how you're going to work on your projects. The design piece is definitely going to be during Georgia snaps when I'm able to like write down what I'm doing. A lot of it is going to be very intuitive for my shawl design, but there are moments when I will need to focus and be on my own. Whereas this super mindless, I can work on this in long stretches of time when I'm doing other things, when I'm sitting with family, when we're traveling in the car, maybe I can like listen to my audiobook or something while we're doing this. I've got my sock project that'll be really mindless, easy for taking on the go and walking around. I think that's a great start thinking about what projects to bring. So here's for sure what we're decided on. <laughs> my shawl design that I need to finish while we are on our trip. My on the go socks, super easy, hoping to get a lot of work done on them, but no stress about how much I actually do. Okay, and then my other fun project, which would be my peekaboo maxi skirt that I can just go, 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 knitting on it while we're doing other things. It'll definitely be a sit down project, not something I can take with me, but I foresee a lot of chatting and sitting in the car and with family as we are visiting. But do I only bring three projects? That doesn't feel like a lot. Oh my gosh, I forgot a whip. My last whip that I forgot to mention that should be in consideration is this hat. It's a brioche hat, super fun, bulky weight yarn. It's written for Erin, but I'm using bulky weight and hoping it works out. But it's from this book, Brioche Knitting. It's the drama and energy hat. And this has been super fun to work up, but definitely needs focus and not something I can do around my toddler. 100% not something I can do around my toddler, especially because I'm only an amateur with brioche. This is my second brioche project. And there's only so much I can do to fix mistakes. Whereas in most other projects that I have on the needles, I can definitely go back and fix things. Okay, so now that we are adding that project to the ring, do I think I'll have enough time where I can focus on brioche? I don't think I can. I don't think I will because either Georgia will be around or I'll be working on my design or I'll be talking with people and I don't think I can handle <laughs> brioche. So that I think is off the table. My no frills, I don't think, I'm not really feeling it at the moment. I've got a couple other bigger projects that are more summer focused. And so I don't need to work on my no fills right now. My find your fate also don't really care to work on it a lot at the moment. I don't have a ton of space in the luggage, so it's not like I can bring 10 projects and cycle through them like I do at home. So that is off the table. So that really leaves just a couple sock whips. I've got my red yucca sock design that I'm hoping to work on. I've got finishing up my my reverie socks. I think another thing to think about is I'm definitely, well, that was a poor angle. I think another thing to think about is that I definitely want to go to at least one yarn store while I'm in Utah. Last time we visited, I was not able to go. My daughter and I both got sick right around the time in our trip when I was hoping to go to the local yarn store. And so we didn't go, we stayed at home. So I really wanna to try to hit at least one up while we are visiting Utah. We don't have a ton of time, but because of that, I'm wondering, should I prepare and be okay with casting something on from Utah? That might be really fun. I know I'd thought about that. If I had been prepared to cast on my red yucca socks while I was in Arizona for our last trip, then I 100% would have cast it on. Hmm, maybe that would be fun to bring an extra pair of sock needles just in case I find something that is really calling to me. I think I may do that. Another thing that I had just mentioned, but I forgot 
to address in picking my projects is the Sunday thing. So I don't work on designs on Sunday. Do I think that my skirt and my vanilla socks for my brother are going to be enough for keeping me interested on Sunday? I think so because I'm excited about the skirt and the sock is nice and easy and it'll go pretty quick. It'll be nice to see it come together and probably I'll start the second sock while we are there in Utah. If not finish that one too, I'm not sure. We shall see. But Sundays, especially with my husband's family, we like to play a lot of games and just spend time. And so I don't think there will be as much time to knit or crochet on that Sunday as I did when we were visiting Arizona and literally had nothing on our schedule for the day except for church. I will refrain from bringing more things, but I will bring an extra set of sock needles and maybe depending on space, depending on space, I think I will bring this whip. But this is like my last call. Like if all else fails, I can put a little bit of time into this. I don't think I'll really get to it. And who knows, I may not even pack it based on whatever else I bring, but I think I will keep this as like a runner up <laughs> just in case. It'll be on deck in case the mood strikes and I'm able to fit in my luggage. So that's the plan. All right, so let's get packing. day and we are settled in Utah at my in-laws house so I didn't get to do a check-in yesterday so I wanted to do one quickly right now so I got through what I think may be the entire foot of my first sock for my brother yeah I did 55 rows on the foot yesterday which I did not expect because our flight got delayed like over three hours plane mechanical issues so they had to swap in a new plane and that was the earliest they could get it so we were in the airport a lot longer than we thought we would be but Georgia did really really well yeah she was in such a good mood and just loved exploring I was having so much fun honestly so so grateful for that but we were exhausted because we went to bed after midnight by the time we got in got to our in-laws ate some food got Georgia into bed so we're tired so we'll see how the day goes kind of slow hopefully i did so much on that sock i was not expecting to get very much done and we just had lots and lots of time and georgia was really really was really really good was able to keep herself entertained running around and playing in the little kids area at the san jose airport which it's called the zoom zone awesome so glad that was there. I think based on measurements that this sock is gonna fit my brother. So I'm gonna actually hold on to it. I'll see him later tonight. I'll have him try it on and we'll see if I'm ready for the toe. Just double check. <sighs> Excuse me, just to double check the sizing and then I can finish off the sock super fast soon. I also felt like I really wanted to work on something for myself. So I grabbed this too last minute without telling you guys, I just decided to bring it. But this is my stroll gradient yarn in the color prickly pear, such a fun color scheme. And so this is the pair I'm making for myself with the stroll yarn from that video that I'm making. And my idea was to cut up the different color sections so that I could stripe the colors how I wanted to rather than going from dark green all the way through to bright pink. 
so that is my idea but there'll be some vanilla socks for me i haven't done vanilla socks for myself in a little while so i think that would be fun and i was just in the mood to cast something off myself so i think i'm going to do that <laughs> get that started sometime i need a break from sock knitting just because i did so much yesterday i think i'm gonna work mostly on my skirt today we'll be driving out to vernal today and that's a long drive but that'll work out for either knitting on my skirt or working on my shawl pattern design i really gotta get that next section started because then it's pretty simple and mindless to just keep working on that so that would be really a nice goal for me today is to work on that third section but really we're just kind of recovering from traveling and being up so late so that's what's up with us time to wake up the baby <laughs> Huh. You've got, you've got donut like icing crumbs on your face. Don't know how they got on her forehead, but. <laughs> It is very bright out, but I'm outside getting some sun and wanted to kind of update you. So I made some progress on my shawl design. I've got a couple rows in, so I kind of got things going with this section. So I'm hoping to just spend a lot of time working on that. I can do it more mindlessly now since I know the shaping is working out how I want it to be. Sorry, this lighting is really bad. We're in the middle of the day, just had lunch. Haven't showed too much on the vlog. Just been kind of spending time with the family, playing some games. I've been able to actually crochet a lot, but do so in a very relaxed way. It's been fun just hanging out and having family play with Georgia. And it's just been really fun. We're all still tired, kind of adjusting after not sleeping super great last night, staying up so late, but we are having fun. We're gonna be heading out to Vernal later this afternoon, so you'll get to see a lot of what I do to uh, knit and crochet in the car. Hey, sweet girl. Are you crocheting, Georgia? Hi, baby. Hi, Georgia. Hello, it is Emily from the future, from the present, editing Emily here, and I just wanted to actually close out this video. I have way more footage than I thought I did from my trip. I thought I didn't vlog hardly at all, and there's just a lot of footage to go through, and I figured it would be more beneficial for you to see a shorter video instead of watching for like an hour. <laughs> but you can see half the video now, and I'll come out with the other half later on, hopefully this week or next week. I'm going to end this video here. Seems like a pretty good stopping point. After our trip to Vernal, we were able to, while we were there, go to the memorial for my grandfather, which was really special. I'm glad we could go spend some time with family and we were able to make it back. And that's kind of where we're pausing the video. Next installment, I guess, you will see that there is a trip to a local yarn store, some more family time, both in Utah County with my husband's parents 
and sister as well as we're gonna travel up to Logan and spend some time with some of your siblings and their families which will be super fun so lots of fun things to show you yeah I gotta finish it off there thank you so much for joining me for this video and I'm so grateful for you to be here and to follow along on my yarny journey let me know down below what you enjoy most about this type of content and if there's anything else that you want to see from me so that I can make sure to get you some Oh my gosh, my camera's going a little crazy. <laughs> so that I can make sure to make content that you really enjoy watching. Until next time, happy making. Bye.